So we're going to look at uh, adding sound, uh, two types of sound, a sound effect that we synchronize with the animation itself and then some background sounds as well, uh, which plays continuously in the background. Um, so the first thing we want to do is, so we've got our, our animation set up, um, so I've used a movie clip, if I go inside the movie clip I've got a little looped animation of um, an eating animation, so it's just a two frame looped animation in there. So if we go back to main timeline, we need to create uh, two new layers. Just remove the work bar. So, uh, right, record from here. You said it felt a bit with the, with the teams was on. Um, so I want to create two layers, one for the sound effect and one for the music. So name the layers. Uh, sorry, not music, uh, background sound. Okay, so my animation itself is nearly 100 frames long. Um, So I've just created two blocks that are nearly 100 frames long, uh, empty blocks for me to put the sound onto on those two layers, the background sound and the sound effects. Um, I'm going to start with the, the background sound. Um, so that's just a, the easiest one to do. It's just import it in and then it just plays continuously. Um, so uh, obviously you need to download the sound. So if you go onto one of the free uh, sound libraries online, so free sounds or sound dogs, um, a sound bible and download from there. So I've already done that. So if I go to Windows Explorer and then into my downloads folder, uh, navigate to where those sounds are. Okay, to import them in, uh, I go to File, Import. So again, this is the way we, we bring any assets into Animate. Uh, import to Library. Um, navigate to the Downloads folder. And you see the two sound files are here, just downloaded. Um, so it's sound effect of birds in the background I want. So I've imported that in. If I go to my library, you'll see that they've appeared in the library. Uh, and then with the background sound effect layer selected, I can drag them into the stage and that will place them on that layer. Uh, I can scrub through the layer just to, to hear them. Um, but the, so the next stage is I want to edit. I'll, I'll want to... Um, likely that I want to edit them in some way. So to edit them, if we go to properties, click on the background sound layer, and that gives me the properties for the sound. See, so yeah, I just click it on the on the timeline there. Um, I just uh, hit sync, make sure it's set to stream, that means it just plays for the duration of the frames. Um, to edit the sound, if I click on the sound, the edit pen here, you see I've got two channels um, because it's stereo sound. Uh, there's various ways I can edit it. I can zoom in and out on the what we call the waveform, which is a visual representation of the sound. I can zoom out to see the whole thing. This line here represents the end of the block of frames there. Um, and then um, So what you can what you can do is alter the start and end point of the sound here by dragging this slider. Um, I don't really need to do that, that with this. You can quite often find that you need to do that with sound effects. You might have a bit of silence at the beginning that you want to clip out, um, cut out. Um, these handles here represent volume, so I can adjust the volume. Now this can be useful if you've got a number of sounds. Uh, then you've got to you've got to adjust the volume of each of the sounds so you can hear them all clearly and obviously with this being a background sound I probably want this to be kind of in the background a little bit so I'll probably just have a go at sort of bringing the volume down a bit um, just above 50% there and see how that goes um, what you can do as well is click on this line and add uh, handles and you can drag so you can you can increase or decrease the volume at certain points if you want to um, 
There are some custom effects here as well that enable you to fade sound from left to right, right to left, fade in or fade out, or sound just through one speaker, so left left speak left channel or left speaker, right channel, right speaker. Um, so those options are there as well. Um, you can click on the view here, and this gives you um, the uh, timeline here in terms of uh, time. This gives you the timeline in terms of frames. Um, so yeah, that, that's mainly it. You can preview it here. So you can listen to it there. And this is what preview the sound there. So reasonably happy with that. I think it might be a little bit loud actually. Um, so I'm just going to tweak that a bit. Bring it down to about halfway. Um, see how that goes for now. Okay, I'm going to OK that, and so that all that, that editing is applied now. Um, so I can test the movie. Um, just go to test movie. I um, can test in animate. So there we go. Not too bad. Might be a little bit loud. Um, not too bad. So the next thing is to bring in the next the sound effect, which is the eating sound, uh, as he's eating it, the uh, beef burger. Um, so that's on this sound effects layer. So if click on the sound effects layer here, and again, same process, file import, import to library, and go to the eating sound. That's come into the library there. Again, same process. Select the sound. Again, you can actually preview the sounds in the library here too. A little, little preview there. So that's fine. I can drag that in. And you'll see that that's appeared on the uh, on the timeline here. Again, slightly different waveforms. It's a slightly different sound. Um, now, the thing really with this is... Um, with the, See, I can already hear that I think the sound of the birds is going gonna, is gonna to be too loud. Okay, it's going to um, mean that we can't hear the sound of the eating. So what I'm going to do is just go back to properties and re-edit that. And just bring the volume down a bit further. Go away further. So we've created the, these handles now, which are... Making that quite nice. A bit more fiddly, but it's fine. So there we go, let's brought it, brought it down a bit further. A little preview. Okay. So we'll okay that. Um, so yeah, with the, with the crunching sound, um, let's just test it. Use control and test. might want to do so um, because that's to make it easier to synchronize that to the sound of him eating uh, I think we probably don't want that on the main timeline but what we can do is we can actually put that inside the movie clip because um, it's not really a regular sound so you've got that option to do that so I'm actually going to remove it from the main timeline here so to, to, to remove a sound from the main timeline just click on it and if you go to sound here you can see we've got the sound file there where it says name just select none again that just removes it now if we go inside the timeline what's really useful here is um, I can actually place the sound in here so what I can do is I can make the, the, the sound effect loop with the animation as well so if I now add the sound effect to here okay and this is where editing comes in really useful with sound effects so if I go back to the edit button here now you see that the, um, if I just preview it there, there's kind of, um, the key part of the sound effect is here really. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I was saying about trimming the sound before, so if I just trim it down, so it starts right before the sound. I can trim down the end as well, so if we just uh, neaten it up a bit. Bit 
Oh, actually. So there we go. So I've kind of chopped it right down now to just that bit of the sound that we need. And I'll preview that. So that's it. That's the bit to us after. So if I OK that, you see now that just appears here. Now the other thing to bear in mind is with the animation. Well, let, let's play it. You, you always got to test these things to see whether it works or not. So yeah, I think that kind of works actually. So we've got the crunching sound when his mouth closes. Yeah. So the great thing with that is, if we go back to scene one now, that will just play on a loop alongside the animation. So that's where this is really useful. So if I go to control and test, you can see that the animation and the crunching sound loop. Okay, so that's uh, that's how you add um, a loop sound effect and background sound to your scene.